In him I live and move and have my being. In him I live and move and have my being. In him I live and move and have my being. Hey, la capa sarada dieu said le dede. Hey, hey, I am in him. Bella kuze bele tanda la bayana. The life that is in me is the life of Christ. Oh. Can you declare it? Can you declare it? Can you declare it? Can you declare it? Somebody declare it. Somebody declare it. Hey, something is inside of me. Oh, inside of me. Oh. There is something inside of me. I am Katera Sepilitasa. It's the power of God that's walking me. Father, we thank you for today. As we declare and we decree, so it shall be in the name of Jesus. This is our reality. And the church of God says another powerful amen. amen. Please be gloriously seated in the presence of the Lord. As you are sitting, I want you to do something prophetic. Can you give a very big jam of clap for Jesus? The one that made you see February is not by power, it's not by might, but by the spirit of the living God. Somebody bless his name, bless his name, bless his name. Welcome to church, everybody. Hallelujah. I want you to turn your Bible together with me to the book of First John chapter 4. We'll be reading the old chapter together and we'll just do a very swift um, scripture chart. I was in the scripture chart and I trust that the Holy Spirit would help us. I believe everybody can hear me. Do we need a little more volume or it's okay? If you can hear me, it's a great thing. God is so good to us. So. The testimonies that we receive today are testimonies that, you know, has proven to us that we are not alone. Somebody say, I am not alone. The King of Kings lives in me. Now, the topic of my scriptural chart today is the Pantocrato proof. I trust that in a short time we have, the Holy Spirit would lead us directly and give us speed in Jesus' name. Where is your Bible? Everybody lift up your Bible and say, this is my Bible. Uh, Some people cannot lift up anything. This is the church Bible anyway, but I have my own Bible here too. Say, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am where it says I am. And I can do what it says I can do. This is a church of God that has a mandate to partner with the Holy Spirit to be raised and to raise others to take dominion through what the word of God and prayer. I thank God for how God has been helping us so far. We've been praying well and I know we will be praying more. But now there is the grace of God in the house that we will be learning the word of God together. First John chapter 4, that's where we are from verse 1. Let's go. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Verse 2 is a scriptural chart. I want you to check your Bible if you have it, because you may want to make some marks. And if you don't have it, well, you can look to the screen. Well, Verse 2 says, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in flesh is of God. Verse 3 now. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of the Antichrist. Wherefore you have heard that it should come. And even now already it is in the world. I figured out that many of us are still waiting for that time where the dragon and the beast would be unleashed and revealed in maybe that figurative form or you know something that looks like dragon or something that looks like a very indescribable beast we are waiting for that era before we agree with the scriptures the scriptures puts an emphasis on now it says and now now that spirit of the antichrist verse 3 says that spirit of the antichrist is now already in the world and we have seen how all over you see if you check your us dollar you will see it boldly the illuminati symbol 
boldly the ice and the pyramid. It's not hidden. If you check your Nigerian Naira, I may not want to go into details. But some of you might have heard and done research and known some of the things on our Naira. So don't let me go deep into that. You know, when we check many of the mainstream cultural and arts and entertainment, find out that those that are topping the game are those that are openly... This one is not that kind of theory that is, does not have basis. These people will come and say that I sold my soul to the devil. They will tell you they sold their soul to the devil. They will tell you that uh, they... You know, the one I saw recently was talking about how they served their children, one of their children, for breakfast. Some of us don't know this things. They are, they are, I thank God for one of my brothers that has been enlightened. He's all over the media. Openly, these people say it. So some of these things we don't know. Some of them tell us openly, Lady Gaga and Co., that they took their lyrics from the devil. And these are songs that many of our youths vibe to and enjoy. And, you know, many of all these top politicians will tell you what price they needed to pay to be where they are. Some of these things on interview, you know, these are not assumptions. They will say it openly. There's this very top. You should, I will not mention his name. But if you know his name, be praying for him very well. That man is gone. That song we just sang, the person that wrote the song. Now, that man that wrote that song, in one of his recent songs, he was saying, the lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. You know what it means, the goat. Now, you know what it means. I'm not saying greatest of all time that many of you are saying no. Goat is talking about baffle men, talking about the beast. I wanted to do a lot of graphical representation of those things, but because I knew the time would be short, and I didn't want to just go into such details. That same person that sang this song, far one of the veterans of gospel music. Now, we don't know his position again. Many of them. So, there is something in the world, is the spirit of antichrist. Anything against Christ, according to this time in the scripture, they say, now it's already in operation. It has been in operation since the time of Nimrod in the Old Testament. Anything against God, against his word, anytime you are against him, you have already adopted the spirit of antichrist. So, what is governing the sphere and the spirit in the world? Say, that spirit now in the world controlling the system when you talk about world world is talking about the systems that are in operation in this earth though it belongs to god abby the earth is the lord and his fullness thereof the lord will grant us speed in jesus name it belongs to god but something has happened there was an exchange and now the prince of this world is the devil lucifer he's in charge of the word he told jesus if you will bow down to me when he was on his earthly days said because someone had done a legal transfer of authority to the devil adam man were giving authority over the earth the heavens of heavens belong to the lord the earth belongs to man and when man was on the earth he gave a legal transfer of right to the devil because of his sin so man needed to take it because it is the protocol of, protocol of God to keep to his word. Men are the one in charge of the jurisdiction of this earth. So Jesus, the word of God, John chapter 1, became flesh. And verse 14, he says, he became flesh and dwelt among men. So he was born like mortals. He had to have the same nature of man to be able to retrieve that authority. Of course, with a spiritual backup. That was when he now says, all power. Is it not God? How come he got to a point in his life where he said, now all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. He took it and said, I commit it back to the church. Because we lost it before somewhere. But the devil has been the father of all lies. He has been running parallel systems of government. He's not saying there is no God really. But he's saying that... I want to show you, I will ascend my throne as high as that of God, so you can choose. If you to take God, you, wait, you want to get something through God, you will wait on the Lord, Abby. But when you come to Satan, say, sharp, sharp, just give me your son, or pay your, um, submit your soul to me, do this and that, I will make you rich sharply. So he wants your, us to choose. So one of the reasons why it is easy for people to sway off is because there were some fundamental issues, well, which I want to point out. Don't forget I said the topic of today's teaching is the Pantocratos um, proof. Verse 4. We read, he says, you are of God. Verse 4 says, my dear children, you are of God. You are of God there. In your contemporary King James Version, the message version says, what it means to say of God says, you come from and belong to. So as you keep reading your Bible, where you see in this expression of, of the word of God, of something, it says, you have held from it or you have belonged to it. So it says, you come from God and belong to God. You have already won a big victory because simply because you come from God and belong to him. Many of us have come from God, but in our action, words, and decisions, we don't belong to him. Just like the prodigal son, he's still a son, but he's not in a jurisdiction. They had some keyless cars, you know, and there are some appliances that use remotes. And most of the times, they may say it is like 30, some very high wireless transfer routers can say 30 kilometers away from the host, the 
remote can walk some three kilometers depending on the range you will function when you are still in the range but when you go out far away all the things that are supposed to be operationalized in your life will not manifest because you don't belong to that space again you've left so, so but you children he says you belong to god you have already won a big victory over the false teachers the false prophets anything false teaching us something that is wrong the message version says you let the world that does not know the first thing about living teach you how to live because the way you should live your life must be influenced by god he made life he made you he has the manner but because we have choice he allowed us to still choose to depend on him or to go and choose another route or another source you have won a big victory against false teachers so literal false teachers and also any voice that is educating your heart your soul your conscience as against the things that is spirit and truth it is for the spirit in you somebody say the spirit in me this is divine assurance no, no, no need to be afraid anymore the spirit in me is far stronger than anything in the world anything these people have strong power they can decide when there will be a world pandemic they can decide when there will be a national assassination most of the assassinations in africa were top masterminded by some of those strong top people in those cult secret cult recorded dos illuminado many of them like that are many of those spirits and beings Prince of Pasha was a human being, but the one that stopped the angel that had a, a, a very strong grip over that territory to refuse the angel from penetrating was the spirit that the Prince of Pasha had aligned with. And because of that, they called Prince of Pasha. Pasha is a physical location, but it also had a spiritual territorial influence. There are men like that that have become poured out to the devil. Now, because of where they are in a place, that place will see darkness and nothing but darkness except the force of light. From today, that power of God in us will refuse every influence from the systems in the world that oppose Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, the spirit in me is far greater and stronger than anything. Name that thing. I want quickly name it and speak to God and announce that confession. Name that thing in the world. Anything. Delay. Denial. Someone will say, if you would not mention the name of God in your song, we will promote you. Name it. God can announce somebody. God gave somebody a sound and he, did, and he just sang that song. And that song took him all over the world. He had refused many, many posals to join the evil fraternity. And people say, you can never rise. We are in charge of, we are the one in charge of this place. But God did it. Somebody said, no matter what comes my way, my life is in his hand. The mystery, when you keep reading here, I, try, I hope we'll be able to finish this. If we can't finish it anyway, we, we'll have a part two. The mystery here is that your life is in him, hidden him, and is in you. Abba. That is a great thing. You know. Pantocrato, let me quickly explain that. The meaning of Pantocrato means almighty. It's a Greek word that they used, you know, to describe a deity they could not fathom his work. In the Greeks, and also even in Egypt and Co, they have gods for different systems. There is a god in charge of the sun, the Ra. There's a god in charge of the Nile. There's a god, in, that's the one in charge of rivers and marine spirit and everything. There is a god in charge of vegetation and fertility. There's, there are different gods that Diana, they are called. So, but these gods will tell you if it is vegetation, if it's facility they will tell you what to do and how to do it. but they find out that there's another deity and he does his own work he can't be they can't fathom it if their deity their own demonic deity says this is what will happen that deity can come and scatter the agenda they can't question him they can't refuse him so they say who is this god they said they now they say what is this being they, they, they didn't know him unknown god but they knew his influence or batia or rita and risha or they didn't see him but they knew that there is an hand that has a strong influence so they call him pantocrato meaning a great beast that stands on the tallest mountain and beats his chest and says I am all powerful, all in all. So I want to tell you that as powerful as that God is, there is a proof to know that he is God. And if he's in you, you are a powerful person. Let nobody tell you you are weak. You are not weak. The person that owns the whole world and created the universe, how mighty he is, is that he sets the foundation of this earth. This ties is very heavy. It's upon the ground because of course you say the ground is stable. Do you know where the ground is set upon according to the book of Psalm? Upon waters. So water is holding very strong. Some skyscrapers that God made lots of displays. Is it the intergalactic body? Is it the planetary body? Is it atomic or subatomic kingdom? Everything, plant and animal kingdom. He made them with full dexterity and is in charge. Uh, we didn't even know he was really in charge. We thought it was every, every creature is like man that has a will. Man has a will and a choice. Our father often says, e -nyo, and it's only in your. But every time we submit ourselves to God, he's not in charge. But when he made man, the integrity of his word is that you are in charge of your own life. But every other thing, it was the book of Job, we found out that even that bed, we want, eagle want to flap their wing. They say it's by the command 
command of the Lord. Oh, that the sun is shining and we have solar system that's trapping the energy. The sun did not smile with these rays without the commands of God. Everything is sustained by the word of his power. That's what the Bible says. As mighty as this God is, he can decide that let the earth not be again. If they say he created the heaven and the earth and we think God lives in heaven, where was the heaven where he was creating them? Where was he living? The Bible says he will destroy the whole heaven and the earth and create a new earth. Where will we be? Where will it be? Where will it be existing? Where is the space? Where is the plane? All things were made by him and from him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Both spirits, both thrones, both dominions, both power. Have you seen the power of Iyomoja before? I, I'm not here to market the devil. I've seen displays of the dark world before. The magicians came after Moses from God turned the rod to snake. They did come and try. They did say that, can we do it? He just come. He said, this is a seat of wizardry now. You don't know Egypt. Come on, magicians. And as they came, they just threw their rod. And the same way, he turned to snake. God just showed that you Lord Almighty, Oju Olone. It's not that. The, if you say, greater is he that is in me. I often say it. It means something is in the world that is great. Don't think you can survive on your own without fraternity and alignment with the God that rules above all spirits. These people are not beings. It's not for beans of Odudu, Abi. Glory to God and the light of all. Have you seen people that worship Shongo? How they can literally call down fire, physical fire. I've seen a friend of mine in my primary school that ate blade. Two blade and not tap to him because it was the son of the head of Oboni of Oshogo. I've seen men that will want to disappear to a place and teleport. Of course, we know all these things are, are imitations. The devil is not a creator, he's an imitator. God created all things. We saw how Philip was taken by the spirit and he disappeared to another location. Abi, yeah, nah, nah. so these are normal things. If you don't align with this God, you can't get the fullness of what he has in stock for you. By the grace of God, the last Sunday of this month, we'll be having the conclusive part of this but i want you to know that there's a proof of that strong god that strong god exists in time that strong god exists in time in our time he exists and men that have aligned to him has wrought the same dimension and capacity of that god now this shows that what we carry on our inside christ in us according to Colossians chapter 1 verse 27 the hope of glory is far superior to anything in the world Anything here in the world. Now, is it only this world and the systems? Peter chapter 2 verse 10 says, At the name of Jesus, that one that we carry, every knee should bow of things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So it covers every sphere. His influence is superior to the earth. That is why a man can declare that come upon the water. And the laws and the forces and the spirits in charge of the principle that makes every object sink upon the unstable element water would be suspended and a mortal man can walk just by the command of Jesus. Not because he had any special gift. Come. And Peter walked on the water. That is why a man can say, let the sun stand still. And by the command intergalactic, it's not only the sun that's too still. If you think it's only the sun because there are motions on the intergalactic body. If only the sun's too still and other things were still moving, there would have been collusion. There would have been an extreme, at an extreme atmospheric explosion. Everything, the stars, the sun, the moon, all the nine planets and the ones to be discovered, the ones that were existing that we have not been discovered, everything is put and altered because a man was fighting the battle of the Lord. This is alignment. These are men that cost proof. But I want to show you that there's a greater proof than all those display. There's a greater proof. That, that proof is, we are yet to see it. And if we go to verse 5 quickly, it says, they are of the world. When I say of, what does that mean? They come from and belong to the world. Speak they of the world and the world hears them because they are from that system. Anybody that belongs to the world, when they speak, I don't know maybe anybody is here that knows the meaning. If you don't know the meaning, I will keep it to next week. There's a song of this popular musician, Umbrella, Ella, Ella, A. Who knows the meaning of that thing? Who has found out the meaning of that song? Nobody. Nobody has heard the meaning. Okay, let's leave that. So many of you say, they hear me. You see a musician wake up in Nigeria. I'm saying, Ori, somebody has focused me. And you see youth vibing to it. They hear me because we are of the same place. Now let's see what verse 6 says. We are of God. Somebody say, I am of God. Ah, uh, He who knows God, hears us. He who is not of God, hears us not. So people... Let, let, let me quickly add this. The reason why those that are not of God cannot hear is that according to the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3, 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3, you can display the next slide, verse 6. Okay, we are there. He says, for the time will come when they will endure, they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desire. People have desire to be free. They don't want to, the bonded ends, the sick, syncopation or alignment with the will and the purpose of God. My brother Deacon David was sharing with me, he said to do the will of God is not lucrative, it's not, it's not, it's not sweet, it's not funky sometimes. It will cost you. They can't hear us when we speak to them, except God touches their heart because their hearts have been veiled. 
But guess what? Every other thing that knows God can hear us. These sons that we are talking about, they know their master. So if someone comes and takes the stand and conjure it and say, because we, men were made from dust, as long as Sagbaja or Lagbaja is on dust, let this Ile, Manilara, let this earth begin to fight him. Ah, and you come with the rod of an higher priesthood, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. For there shall be no enchantment nor divination against Jacob that can stand. For he has been made a curse for me, who that was laid on the tree, because cost is anyone that bees on the tree. So when that enemy comes like a flood, the cost comes because they have engaged in matter. That land is as here. Oh, you think they don't have here? Even Jordan. They say Jordan saw it and he fled. They have all these sense organs. He saw the presence of God, he fled. So they have here. So as the spirit of the Lord is raising a standard because of the scripture that you have internalized inside of you. Even when you are not speaking it, because you have pondered on it and muttered on it, you have become one with that scripture. So in your unvocalized state, the word of God is near thee, is in you. It is, it is loud. And there will be a bounce back. Every word negatively spoken concerning yourself and your destiny and your family and your children, I declare in the name of Jesus, it returns back to the center. In the name of Jesus. Hey. I don't think some people are ready to catch this. I said it does not matter where the word was, was arranged. He that is in you. Every negative word that is influencing your space, even Nigeria, every word. Some people have made bold decrees negatively over this land. It will not stand in the name of Jesus. Because they are not of God, they cannot endure sound doctrine. Yes, they can't respond to the truth. I said they walk in error. Let's just jump to verse 7. Verse 7. He says, Beloved, let us love one another. I want to show you something where we will dwell on on the last Sunday of this month. As great as that monarch of Zion is, as powerful as that mighty warrior, Pantocrato, almighty El Shaddai is, he did not hide his vulnerability and his affection or mortality. No matter how coconut head you are, no matter how disobedient you are, if you know everything that God has put in place, to ensure that you are in right standing with him. Is this sin? Oh, okay, it's settled sin once and for all. Is it that you have gone far? As long as the time is still ticking, wisdom will demand that when you are returned back, like the prodigal son, his arm is outstretched to receive you. His vulnerability is that he loves you so much, even when you were yet a sinner, he displayed his love. You think that mighty God, I was sharing with the Sunday school class how more than 12 legions of angels could be summoned by Jesus to deliver himself where Peter was busy cutting air up and down. And I asked them a question, do you think it was the nails that kept Jesus on the tree, on the cross of Calvary because of daddy, because of my sister? Do you think that sin penalty that he took when he was not the one that offered the sin and it became propitiation for your sin? Do you think what kept him there was because he could not deliver himself? Abba. Even death, where is your strength? Grave, where is your hope? They could not hold him down because the spirit that was in him quickened him and rose him on the third day as it was promised and prophesied what kept him on that tree even when we were yet sinners was his love for you he loves you so much it does not matter what you are going to you are his son when you come to that recognition of divine assurance most assuredly i said to you even yes my word i said those people that are canal and that have, that have ailed from the world or they have submitted and belong they ought to belong they belong to the world they can't hear him so you cannot have passed from judgment or from death because you don't hear him. He who hears my word. Those are people that have submitted themselves to the love of the Father. He says, and believes in him who sent me as everlasting life, as eternal life. You don't have to worry. He says something and shall not come into judgment. Be bold. You gave your life to Christ last week, last month, last year. And they say, who wants to give his life to Christ or receive the life to, of, of Christ? And you lift up your hand again. It means you don't have any assurance of salvation. It means you are, not, you are not sure of what you have taken. This is not to magnify sin. If you continue in sin, grace will not abound. You will remain a weakling, but you are still a child. But I want you to know that the government shall be on the shoulders of sons. People that have grown up from, from credo and become mature sons, the responsibility of the kingdom, the, the same thing that the pantocrator can do, and his fullness and majesty can be communicated to your hands. But if you want to be doing, wake up today, die tomorrow, wake up today, die tomorrow, be resurrected, and you say, ah, please, I'm still his son, you remain a child. But that's even better than some people that do not even know that they have been received and accepted in the beloved. There's something for us to learn here. So God is saying that we should love one another for love is of God. When I say of something, what does it mean? Of God. What did I say it means? According to message version, comes from and belongs to we will continue. We have just 21 verses. We will continue from verse 12 next week. Let's read down. 
as we round up. He says, and everyone who loves is born of God. It means comes from God, aid from God, and knows God. He who loves not, knows not God, for God is love. Now, they say love is of God, and they say God is that same love. Just like you say, the word of God was from God, and the word of God is God. So God is love. Hallelujah, somebody. And this was manifested, oh, in this now, verse 9. In this was manifested the love of God towards us. How? Because that God sent his only begotten son into the world. God knows we are in this world. And he knows that the scepter of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous for so long, lest he put his hand to perdition. The influence from these systems of this world, as evil as it is, can corrupt the children of God if they are not well rooted. So he sent forth his spirit. That is why anyone that thinks he can survive on his own, the arm of flesh will fail you. It will fail you woefully. For it's not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, said the Lord. He sent forth his spirit inside of you as a seal of your salvation to strengthen you and comfort you and lead you to all truth. The Bible speaks of some people. It says they have gone into error. Verse 6. But he leads you into all truth by the spirit of God inside of you. That is why we cannot say any other thing than saying the mandate is built upon partnership with the Holy Ghost. If you want to rise up from the dust, to daughters of Zion, if you want to arise up from your ashes and be raised so that you have the capacity as God that raised men, that you can also raise many sons unto glory, representing God. If you want to beat your chest like Paul and say, follow me, the way I'm following Christ. Because as he is, so I am in this world. You will need to submit to the government of the Holy Spirit. And one of the things the Holy Spirit wants us to learn today is to love. Is to love. That love comes from God. Get ready. There will be many other series on this theme, Living Proof. But this is the direction the Holy Ghost would have me speak. Let me just stop here because of time. We will continue from here and so Let me leave you with this. Men were designed to love themselves. Just that's the way God is. God, God is love. That is who he is. So the fullness of love, the perfection of love is God, is God. So the only way to love us is to do what? Accept us in the beloved. Mm. I don't think you got that. The only way to love you is to accept you in the beloved. So when he sees you, he's seeing the beloved. Who is the beloved? Christ. Who is Christ? God. So that is why if you want to love people accurately, you can only love yourself, really. You can't love, he said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the way you can love your neighbor is to align to the prayer of Christ that they may be one. The way a man can love his wife is that when the man leaves his father's house, he and that woman, they are knitted and they become one. So he loves the wife as he loves himself because they are one. So the way you can, you can love accurately the way the Holy Ghost is demanding of us if you have not become united with your brethren. Hallelujah. Why are we saying all this? How does it relate to living proof? If you don't know and have passion for your world and the systems that are depraved around us, if you don't know that you, you must love those people, you can't do exploits, you can't prove anything, you can't pay the price to become a savior. You can't shake yourself from the dust and say, I am bigger than this. There's someone inside of me that is greater than the world. What is it there for? Is it to make a proof that is greater than the world? It's to heal the world. Some of you will not go, are not going to be color ministers like some of us. Some of you will be sucked into the financial world. Some of you will be apostles to entertainment. But if you don't have compassion for the destruction going there, you can't pay the price to allow the God to make your arms to be exalted and that you can be a voice and you can release even dance steps that can bring people and hypnotize them correctly and bring them accurately to the will of the Father. Oh, you don't know that even in heaven they sang the song of Moses. It was because that man sang a song that stemmed from God. So it was a choral song in heaven. The same way you can do something and you download it from heaven because you are in connection with God. And because of your love and affection for humanity, you know you cannot fail. Because if you fail, sir, there are too many people that are counting on your success and they may fail and never rise because you never rose. That is where the direction of love is. Can you bow your hearts? We are going to be taking the communion swiftly. Let's say that those who hunger and thirst they shall be filled oh. they shall be filled oh. blessed are those who hunger and thirst they shall be filled oh. they shall be filled oh. I want you to open up your heart and ask the Lord release your nature into me Release your love into me. If you don't have the fullness of the love of the Father, you can't give what you don't have. Help me accept your love that as mighty as you are, you did not look down on my sin and cross me. You came looking for me. This is the best time to close your eyes and talk to God. You know why you can't love or forgive that man? You know why you cannot forgive that sister? You know why you cannot accept that brother? The love of God has not been made perfect in you. 
you have not expressed the fullness of the love of the Father. If you desire that it should rain on you the fullness of his love, you will be full and out of that fullness, the well inside of you will release love. Why some people are doing well in their business is because they have passion for humanity. Hey. I will be filled, oh. I will be filled, oh. Blessed I am, oh. I hunger and I test. Ah, I will be filled, oh. oh. I will be filled. Oh. This is the best time to increase the voltage of your desire. You think you love your daughter. When the real love, genuine love rests upon you, you will be on your knees 24-7 in the post of your heart and trusting God that my daughter will not fall into sodomy. It's not by Cain, it's not by shout, it's not by power, it's not by might. The Spirit of God inside of you was the expression of the love of the Father and is the one that helps you to live and have the nature of God. If you really have love, the new passion, they will not be begging us every time, pray for Nigeria every day. You will know that I am here for a time as this. I want to give you like three more minutes to pray before we bless the communion. The communion was the system of advantage that the Lord God created to help us and deliver us from destruction. The Bible says, and Jesus took the bread, he broke the bread, he blessed it. He also blessed the wine. And he said, take, eat, this is my body. He blessed the wine. I say, this is the cup of eternal covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. The expression of his love is that he poured out himself as an offering. The book of First John chapter 5 says, this is love. That a man will give his life for his friend. So Jesus did not see you as a slave. He saw you as a friend. And he sees you as his friend. And that is why he has released the blood of eternal covenant for the remission of your sin. Now I want to ask us a genuine question. Who needs medication? Oh no, no. Let me say, who needs an antibiotics? Anybody? Someone that has a bio uh, bacterial infection, right? When it's anti-malaria, someone that is probably struck with malaria or, you know, every one of us even has this malaria um, stuff inside, inside of us. Jesus said, who needs the physician? Is it those that are perfect or those that are sick? But thank God for even technology now. There are some things that they call supplement. They fortify your immune system. So I don't know which side or the twist or the page that you are. You might be someone that is in need for spiritual medication. And just in case you are not in need of that kind of medication for healing or revitalization, some of you will need the administration of the blood and the bread for fortification to keep your immune system in balance. The love of Jesus that was expressed by giving out himself was for everybody. Can you bow your hearts and this is the right time to begin to speak to the Lord and say, Lord, I submit myself to you. Cleanse me from every impurity. We just, we just spoke about love. From every love deficiency. Purify me. Sanctify me. Holy Ghost. Restore me. Renew me. Redeem me. Holy Spirit. By your mercy. Heal me. I want us to prepare our hearts before we receive this bread so that we don't just take it unworthily. If you know that there's something wrong with you, it's the best time to confess your sins and receive forgiveness. Now understanding that you were built for much more and that if you don't receive enablement by the Spirit of God, the Bible says the life of a teen is in his blood. So God wants to communicate his very life through this blood, a symbolism of the Passover that he has asked us to take. So I want you to speak to God in penitent of art and ask the Lord to search you and try you. If there be any wicked way in you, the Lord will purge you from all corruption and unrighteousness. I want you to declare your position. I am a child of God. I am what he says I am. Announce that you are forgiven. Announce that this is your year of divine assurance. You have been passed from judgment and from death to life. Announce that there is something greater in you. 
than he that is in the world. I want him to speak based on what you have. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Now, I want us to take one prayer before this goes on. The Bible says the spirit and the bride says come. Can we say that together after me? The spirit and the bride says come. Some people are not repeating. Can we say it the second time? The spirit and the bride says come. Can we say the third time? The spirit and the bride. Saying it three times was not very important. I just wanted some people that were distracted to follow us. But what is important there is for you to note what we said. God is the father of all spirits. And by his command, spirits are authorized to act. Angels are authorized to act. Realms from his glory are authorized. Systems are authorized because he's the father of all spirits. But they will be extremely limited if.